Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my kitchen. So this video is Christmas dinner for less than $5. Okay, something is ready, so let me take that something out. This is one half a ham. Let's see. Okay, the other thing can use a couple minutes. So I want to make my videos like you guys are in my life because you are in my life and everyone is love lovable. And the premiere went really well today and I want to thank you guys for the comments and they were awesome comments too. And every single one of them was lovable. But if you are a hater, you are welcome because you know what's going to happen? We're going to infect you and you're going to become lovable too. And you're all welcome. And I don't believe anyone can stick around here otherwise. So I have some festive candles and I bought these. I love these. These are maple. Hmm. I bought them at Dollar Tree. So, you know, you can be festive. You don't have to spend a lot. In fact, I, I don't see why we should. Okay, I got these great candles at the Himalayan shop. They're so pretty. They're about time to take another trip up there. Wow, I'm glad I didn't burn them all up. So, okay, so I'm still rejoicing. This one's pretty. I'm still rejoicing over the 2 million views. And I can't believe I forgot something. The tea parties. Do you know how many videos I made with tea parties? A whole lot. I had never had a tea party in my life. I was raised Mormon and we don't drink tea. But um, I'm a Jack Mormon, so you know, hey, if that's the worst thing I'm drinking, that, that's a good situation. So about two years ago, I started with the tea parties. There's lots of um, herbal teas. So, okay, I have one of the first teas and I bought this little teapot, and I love it dearly, and it took me a long time to uh, locate it at the Himalayan shop. And, well, I want to put, this is the best tea, the one I, I love. I had this peppermint tea in tons of my videos. And you need a pinch of cinnamon, just a pinch. Especially in a little cup like this. I want to put the cinnamon in first. Dollar Tree. See my adorable spoons? I try to stockpile them. They're not as easy to find. Some for a while there, I was finding all kinds of tea party stuff and then it went dry on me. And I have some honey. This is going to give you the best cinnamon tea. It's also good though with a hazelnut coffee creamer. This is a small teacup, but for a standard teacup, you would want about half a tablespoon. Ooh, yummy. Let me see. Uh, and then, uh, okay, so now I'll pour the, the, the tea in. So I love these tea parties because then it's like all my followers and I are having a tea party. And some of my, my followers were actually drinking tea when I was, and it was really, it was really uh, cool too. But then I got off on a tangent and I neglected my tea parties, but they're not gone. They're not forgotten. Tea parties are very, very fun. Okay, so I have cinnamon, I have honey, and then I want a tiny bit of lemon. This is going to give you a really delicious tea, you guys. You're going to try this. And it's not expensive. And this is really good to stockpile for all kinds of reasons. Lemonade, um, top ramen with hot sauce is very tasty. Let me keep an eye on this. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Okay, so now. So I'm having my fun, I'm being festive, um, about a week ago I exhausted myself, but that's normal for me. 
All right, let me show you this tea. I don't know if you are gonna be able to see it, but this is a really, really pretty tea, as well as a pretty delicious tea. So I still can't get over the two million views. My next goal is to get three million views in six months. I don't know if I can do it, I will try. A lot of times, you know, when I try to do stuff, I fall flat on my face and I fail miserably. So we'll see what happens. And then usually when I do fall on my uh, face and fail miserably, I'm usually a pretty bad sport about it. But on the social media, you know, I'll try to be refined. But in real life, I'm not. I'm awful. All right, now, I bought this adorable bag at Dollar Tree. And then on the way home from uh, McDonald's this morning, I swung by 99 cent only to buy a few things and I found some great stocking stuffers. Look at this little thing, it was a dollar. It's all kinds of makeup correctors. Helps diminish redness. I should put it on my cheek. Dark spots and circles, orange. Wow, that's the whole sides of my faces. Purple evens out skin tone for one dollar. So that is a great stocking stuffer. Uh, you know, sometimes like in the 99 cent stores, they will just have the best stuff. Okay, then what? Look at this nice thing. These are little um, purse size um, hand creams. Three different kinds. And uh, let's see, there is uh, avocado, there is apricot, and there is coconut. These are nice. So right now we're at $2, you guys. Then I bought a package. You know the hairdressers can never change. These are all kinds of little combs, picks, rat tail combs, little comb combs. I destroy my combs. And then uh, they had these big pumice stones. I thought I'll try one. What I do is I rub a lot of, first of all I soak my feet in a hot tub and then I rub a lot of soap and I just scrub them. And if you do that nightly pretty soon your uh, feet are going to get nice. This would, and then I bought another one of these um, they had these um, skin cream things for a dollar. And I had bought one and I tried it. And so that was five. So if you had a gift exchange and you went to the dollar store, you know, you could, you know, get some pretty decent little gift bags. I'm going to take this out. This is some uh, sweet potatoes I made. Okay, now. Life is good. So, you know, I was thinking, well, you know, how can this this cheetah stuff be uh, not trendy? Um, animal prints have been around since, remember, Jungle Fever? And then I thought, wow, this is great because I spend my time in a thrift store. Like this year, until about a couple weeks ago when I was too busy, I was in a thrift store every single day. So if you ladies are like me, this is a good time we can pick up jungle prints. I found a great, I found a great, I think it was a cheetah purse. I was nothing but happy about that. I got it for $1. Okay, so now... Let's go to my dinner, less than $5 Christmas dinner. Okay, I, I have one half ham. These were on sale at, um, at Walgreens, three for uh, $9. One half can sweet potatoes, cream peas. I had peas left over from last night. It wasn't really 25 cents because I only use a third can bread, 25 cents and pie. So you might be thinking, how could you do that? Well, you have
have to be cheap, okay? So here is the little, the little ham, just to prove to you I only use half. Here are the Walmart peas. Here are the sweet potatoes, Walmart. Uh, you can get these cheaper than $1.18, but, you know, I, I find Walmart is pretty good because, uh, you know, all their stuff is usually fresh. And then I have some evaporated milk that I had mixed up that I had in the refrigerator. Oh, I want to make mention about my jewelry. Okay, I sell this kind of stuff. I say I'm going to sell it, but I buy it by the tons and I don't sell it. This is a guest necklace. And then, you know, I love this kind of stuff. Oh, I suppose the hippie stuff is out of, out of style, too. And then what I do is I hoard all kinds of silver-type bracelets. And then, you know, all kinds of rings, especially flowers. So, now, let me make sure this thing is still going. All right. All right. Now, enough messing around. Time for dinner. Okay, so now... I had lard, but you could use oil, or you know, you could use anything. So I want to, I cut my, um, I cut my, ooh, these hams are good. Uh, I cut my ham lengthwise to make it you know, um, more festive type pieces of ham. So these, this is quite a bit. Uh, you know, did you guys see my bake spam the other night? That's a possibility too. That would be a dollar. This is a dollar fifty. Two dollars maximum. So let me show you. This is some pretty substantial pieces of ham. No starving on the holidays. I bought this festive plate for a dollar this year at the thrift store. Some of you may have reminded me, we may have been following me at that time. Yummy, yummy, yummy! You know, it, you don't have to have a million dollars to be joyful. It would help. <laughs> okay, and then I had a few uh, marshmallows, and for some reason this is what happened, but I'm sure it's going to taste very, very yummy. So, um, we'll have a few sweet potatoes. You could eat the whole can. It wouldn't throw you over budget. Not really. But most people, you know, a half can should do it, right? Okay, now here is the cream peas. There's all ways to make them, I'm sure. But I think the way I make them is pretty good. Where's my little bowl? Uh, what I did is I just covered them with some um, evaporated milk and, and I cooked them down. I don't thicken them. You, you know what? This is very delicious with asparagus. Let me see. Oh, I didn't take it out. And this really is less than eight or less than five dollars, and this is yummy. I didn't actually spend uh, five dollars because I had everything in my stockpile. So there's my cream peas. Uh, I could put it on my plate, but you know, then it would run all over. Okay, now this is some raisin sauce. I had raisins in my stockpile, so um, I, I what I did is I covered them with water, and I added a little a little um, sugar, not too much because it tastes good kind of on the sour side. I cooked it down until the raisins were really really soft, and I just had some kind of raisins from Dollar Tree. Yeah, and this is going to taste tasty with my ham. It's going to be festive. 
Okay, so now, well now I needed some bread. Okay, so out here, I noticed that the Hawaiian bread is over $3 a loaf. But look what I found at 99 cent only. Uh, one, this is sweet bread, wheat sweet bread. It was $2, so it was $1 for the whole thing. So I will have, I like to eat a lot of bread. Uh, I'm not a person who wants to diet on the holidays. Oh, forget it. Are you kidding me? Now that's neurotic. Did you ever think about how neurotic that is? Ooh, yummy, look at this. 25 cents, that'll do. Yummy, yummy. Okay, now what? So now we have ham, sweet potatoes, cream peas, bread. This bread is good. So here we are. Now dessert. Now, there's two ways we could go. We could, we could go to Walmart and we could, where's my little, where's my little pie? We could buy one of these little pies for 50 cents. But by, by carefully shopping, I bought at Walmart, marked down a pie for, it was uh, $1.99, so this way, uh, each piece of pie, I miscalculated on here, uh, would be uh, for a quarter pie, because we're not di dieting on the holidays, because that is, is neurotic, right? Uh, weight loss is like uh, anything else. The little by little approach is the best and the healthiest. And you know, no, no crazy, crazy crash diets. That's very bad. It's hard. Look at this. Two dollars. So now, let's say, uh, okay, let's just say, let's just say that I was really going to be moderate and eat a moderate piece. But let's, let's say what's really going to happen is at least two pieces of pie are going to happen. So that would be 50 cents. So, so by mark, shopping the markdowns on the bread and the pie, ooh, this pie is perfect, you guys. This is why I kind of like, look at this pie. This is why I can freeze it too. This is why I really kind of like, uh, look at this, freshness guaranteed. It really is. On the way home, my car smells so good with this bread. 99 cent only. And this pie, Walmart. And let's just take the other little pie out because these are very yummy. 